Where has China's foreign minister gone? It has become a global manhunt with all major mainstream media tracking him down. The foreign minister was last seen in public on June 25th this year. He then disappeared from the public eye, missing several major events during the peak diplomatic season. In this video from July 14th, an AFP reporter asked when Foreign Minister Ching Gong was expected to show up. The spokesman for the Foreign Ministry was silent for 16 seconds. Good afternoon and welcome to the press conference of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you. Question from AFP. Uh, regarding Foreign Minister Ching Gong's recent absence from official duties, is this due entirely to health reasons and are there any updates on when he is expected to return? Thank you. I have already covered the situation earlier. Next question. Previously, the official response was that Ching Gong couldn't attend the Asian meeting for health reasons. However, no one believes it now. Rumors about why Chin disappeared abound. One of the most widespread rumors is that he fell into an extramarital affair with Hong Kong's Phoenix TV host Fu Xiaotian and had an illegitimate child, thus falling into the trap of a double agent. Strangely enough, this rumor has popped up all over Chinese social media. On July 14th, Baidu's index showed a spike in searches for Ching Gong and Fu Xiaotian, with Ching Gong ranking number one with more than 200,000 searches. Until now, comments in this regard haven't been fully censored, which is a very unusual phenomena in China. Let's review this incident. Hello, I'm Fu Xiaotian. Eight years ago, I finished my study and work in the United Kingdom and came to Hong Kong to become a new Hong Kong youth. At that time, I was a native of Beijing, while my birthplace was in Chongqing. Now, I'm a host of Phoenix TV in Hong Kong. My job is to interview and talk to the politicians of various countries. Chinese media at home and abroad have unearthed the background of Fu Xiaotian. It proves to be very uncomplicated. She is probably a pretty spy cultivated by the Chinese Communist Party or CCP and may even be a double agent. She disappeared after returning to China on April 11, 2023. Now, let's look at the connection between this anchorwoman and Minister Ching Gong, who is already married with a family. Roughly a year ago, on March 30th, 2022, Fu posted on Weibo stating that she was unmarried. On March 4th, 2023, her son turned 100 days old. The baby is presumed to be Ching Gong's illegitimate son. In March 2022, Fu traveled from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. to interview Ching Gong, who was China's ambassador to the U.S. at the time. Uh, when I'm not busy working, I'll come here, especially to the lake. I'll take a walk and see the World War II monument, the Korean War monument, and the Vietnam War monument. I'll think about the fact that in the more than 200 years of the U.S.'s existence, war and peace have always been an issue that this country must face and deal with. I mean, out of the more than 240 years of that history, the U.S. has been involved in wars except in only a little more than 20 of those years. That's according to the calculations of former President Carter. That was what he said. Many inquisitive people reviewing the video now have found that Fu looked more like a woman in love rather than a professional journalist. The photo of Chin gazing at the White House taken during this interview was used by Chin as his Twitter avatar. Fu then became pregnant and spent the rest of her pregnancy in California. Judging by the tweets and photos she posted on Twitter, Fu's son should be born on December 30th, 2022, in the U.S. On March 11th, 2023, Fu tweeted, my son's father is an American and will be going back home in the near future. Looking forward to it. The next day, Fu posted a photo of her son with the caption, Look who still calls me a foreign baby. She held up the baby's hand with a bubble with closing and victory written on it. The date coincided with Chin's appointment as a member of the State Council of the 14th National People's Congress of the CCP. It has made him a member of the top echelon of the CCP.
On March 18th, Fu tweeted in her son's name, sending out blessings. Dad went on a mission so busy that he didn't even have time to celebrate his birthday. I can only wish him a happy birthday. The date happened to be March 19th in Beijing time, which was Ching Gong's 57th birthday. On April 11th, Fu posted three photos, a private jet, her interview with Ching Gong, and her son on the plane. She also tweeted, The last time I was on this plane was when I traveled from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. I landed alone on a rainy spring night in a neighborhood where the cherry blossoms were in full bloom. It was for a work interview. I didn't realize it would be my last physical appearance on Talk with the World Leaders. I'm back on the plane after a year, also from Los Angeles, but this time with my son, Erkin. As a secret mistress, Fu's high profile is shocking. Some outsiders analyzed that Fu was putting pressure on Ching Gong, who wasn't ready to acknowledge her yet. Fu's son's name is Erkin, where Kin is the phonetic equivalent of the Chinese word Chin, the last name of Ching Gong. Er is the pinyin for two in Chinese, which was interpreted by many netizens as junior. As you can see from the photo, it was a small airport. It means Fu was traveling on a private jet, probably a Gulfstream with a likely model of G500, G550, or G650. So, is Fu Xiaotian a pretty spy? Fu's last Weibo message was posted on April 10th, 2023. After that, news came out that her position on Phoenix TV was replaced by someone else. In the eyes of insiders, the change of the baton was rather sudden without warning. So far, Fu has disappeared from public view for more than three months. It's speculated that she was probably arrested by Chinese authorities at the behest of Xi Jinping on the suspicion of espionage after flying back to China. In our opinion, this theory is highly probable. Fu was born on June 12, 1983 in China's western province to ordinary working parents. She studied English at the University of Languages and Cultures in Beijing in 2002 and economics at Peking University. She received a double degree from both universities. In 2006, she went on to the University of Cambridge's Churchill College in the UK, where she received a master's degree in education. Since then, at least three events have suggested that Fu has an unusual background. First, in 2016, the University of Cambridge's Churchill College named one of its gardens Xiaotian Garden in Fu's honor. This was the first time in the history of Churchill College that a facility was named after a female alumni. The ceremony was attended by the Chinese envoy to the UK, who spoke on the day. First of all, on behalf of the Chinese embassy, I would like to offer my warm Congratulations for the unveiling of the uh, Xiao Tianfu Garden. Well, on the way here, I was briefed by my colleague um, that the, actually uh, this college produced 32 uh, Nobel laureates, or in another word, one third uh, of the Nobel laureates of Cambridge University. So I think it is really an extraordinary honor for such a prestigious college to host this event, to open the garden named after a Chinese young alumina, a beautiful Chinese lady. Some critics say that Fu Xiaotian must have donated at least one million pounds to Cambridge University to get such an honor. How did Fu afford this without a wealthy family background? In 2008, Fu joined Phoenix TV. Since 2013, she has been the host of Phoenix TV's famous brand show, Talk with the World Leaders, interviewing dignitaries from all over the world. In other words, Fu had only been working for Phoenix TV for eight years by the year 2016. Where did she get so much money? If the garden wasn't bought with money, then what was it for? Second, on the evening of June 12, 2017, Fu was offered a distinguished award by the President of Italy at the Italian Embassy in China in recognition of her special contribution to Italian-Chinese exchanges. She is the youngest person to have received this honor to date. Some recipients of this honor include the President of Argentina, Prime Minister of Bulgaria, Princess of Monaco, and a well-known American singer of the 20th century. Third, New Zealand's former Prime Minister John Key suddenly resigned on December 5, 2016, citing the reason of returning to his family. The 1961-born Jewish tycoon made the announcement without warning, shocking the entire nation. Half a year prior to this, in May 2016, John Key was interviewed by Fu. 
Nothing seemed unusual, but people found it odd that all the videos of Fu interviewing the dignitaries were there, except her exclusive interview with John Key. It was missing, completely deleted from all platforms in China and overseas. Meanwhile, Fu, who was usually active on social media, didn't post any updates for more than a year after John Key's resignation. It seemed that she tried to deliberately disappear from the public eye. If Fu were a spy, she would be very likely related to the spy chief of the CCP. Before Xi Jinping came to power, the CCP's spy chief was Zheng Qinghong, the number two man in Jiang Zemin's faction of the CCP. He has built a network of spies all over the world. Hong Kong has long been an important place for this sphere of influence. Hong Kong-based Phoenix TV used to be a mouthpiece of Jiang's faction in the past, receiving secret funding from China's Ministry of State Security. After Fu joined Phoenix TV, she quickly became the top female host. Is it possible that the reason behind all the support along the way was because she was tasked with an unusual role to play? The above facts are mostly substantiated. Regarding Fu, it has been reported that she is a double agent, that is, she is working for the CCP as well as the US. It's said that Fu is connected to the sudden death of the deputy commander of China's rocket force. Sources said that the deputy commander's son sold information about the rocket force to the U.S., and the CCP began to investigate. Fu knew him, the deputy commander of the rocket force, and asked Ching Gong to help him to fix the matter. Ching Gong probably hesitated, delaying the matter and failing to report it at the first opportunity. As a result, he was suspected to have had a hand in it. Now the deputy commander is dead. The CCP has followed up with Fu, who might have got Ching Gong involved in the case. Some parts of the disclosed information cannot be verified. Only the following facts are available for consideration. On the first day of Qin's disappearance, June 26th, the current commander of China's rocket force was also taken away for investigation. On July 6th, the same day when Xi Jinping inspected the Eastern Theater of Operations, news broke out online that the deputy commander of China's rocket force committed suicide that night. Subsequently, an internal report from the CCP authorities said that the deputy commander died suddenly of a cerebral hemorrhage. Whether it was suicide or a sudden death, his death has raised a lot of questions. Currently, the former Minister of Defense is also under investigation. Why did the rocket forces break out with so many rumors of arrests, investigations, and sudden deaths in just a few days? In October 2022, China Aerospace Studies Institute at the Air University of the U.S. published a 255-page report on the PLA Rocket Force Organization. It provides detailed information on the organizational structure of the rocket force, from the top level of the chain of command to the logistical product bases, including the addresses of the bases, the main functions of the units, the Chinese and English names of those in charge, and the numbers of the units, among other things. The report not only marked the deployment of the rocket force across the country on a map of China, but also showed in a tree diagram the photos of the main heads of the various departments of the rocket force, their names and their relationship with each other. It even included all the logistical information about the cooking squads, dog training stations to medical centers of the army. Obviously, such information can't possibly be obtained from satellite photos. It's evident the U.S. side published such detailed information, but it's only what it considers to be publishable. Probably, the U.S. side has more hardcore information on its hand. The CCP's rocket force is its first card when attempting to forcefully attack Taiwan. It's likely the CCP's winning card and last card. If it wants to strike the U.S. aircraft carriers or clear the various missile positions in Taiwan and the military fortifications at the landing sites before the landing, it all depends on the rocket force. If such important intelligence is leaked and people know everything about it, we can imagine how surprised and angry Xi Jinping would feel. Let's look at the Chinese official media's recent response to this incident. And the, the Times of London has reported that uh, Qing Gong's disappearance is uh, related to being under investigation for an affair with uh, Fu Xiaotian, a Phoenix TV reporter who recently gave birth in the U.S. Do you have any comment on that? I don't know anything about the case you're referring to. Just some follow-up questions. Is, is Qing Gang currently the Chinese foreign minister? And uh, when, it, what, is this, what is the status of, uh, or, or why has he not been seen in three and a half weeks? 
For your first question, I suggest you check the website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China, and I don't have any more information to add. Has the absence of State Councilor Qinggang affected the work of China's diplomats? Thank you. China's diplomatic activities are going on normally. Finally, let's have a look at the impact of the Qinggang incident on Xi Jinping. Qin was appointed by Xi as the CCP's ambassador to the U.S. on July 28, 2021. At the time, relations between China and the U.S. were at their lowest point since the establishment of bilateral diplomatic relations. In October 2022, Qin became a member of the Central Committee at the 20th CCP National Congress. In December, he became Minister of Foreign Affairs, and in March 2023, he was appointed as a state councillor or vice state councillor, making him the youngest party and state leader in the CCP. Starting in 2022, Chin was promoted beyond the norm by Xi, making a triple jump in just a few months, from vice minister to minister, and then to the vice state leader level. Under normal circumstances, it would take at least five years for an official to complete such promotions. That's why Qing Gong has been regarded as Xi Jinping's close confidant. While the news of Qing Gong was spreading like wildfire, the wife of former foreign ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian published two consecutive posts on Weibo on July 10th, one of which said, Today is a good day, and the video was about Zhao's work when he was the spokesman for the Chinese foreign ministry. The other post claimed that her husband was a good official who was upright and served the country and the people. In late December 2022, Qing Gong was appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs of China. He removed Zhao Lijian from his post shortly after taking office and transferred him. Zhao was effectively demoted and marginalized. After Qing Gong's story broke out, the joy of Zhao Lijian's wife seemed hardly containable, judging from the two posts she published. It has made the disappearance of Qing Gong overshadowed by the power struggle. In addition, on July 14, 2023, a commendation conference of the national security system was held in Beijing. The top leader of the CCP's political and legal committee publicly asked officials at all levels to attach great importance to and care about and support the work of the covert front. Is this a form of response to the scandal of Fu Xiaotian and Qing Gong? On the same day, the social media accounts of the political and legal committee simultaneously published a propaganda video that explicitly declared that it pays tribute to the unsung heroes of the Hidden Front. It seems she is hesitant about what to do with his close associate, Chin Gong. The public opinion about Chin's scandal is spiraling out of control. It's a case mixed with fame, fortune, infighting, espionage, and sex scandal, which is of particular interest to China's onlookers. In the international political arena, countries are watching how Xi Jinping will handle the situation. Xi has been in power for 11 years now. To this day, intelligence agencies around the world are unable to define his philosophy of governance or his decision-making mechanisms.